How are you guys? My name is Ben, aka Demi Dog. Um, how are we doing today? Today we'll be reacting to Volume Eight, Chapter Three. I am ecstatic right now. I'm. I cannot wait. Uh, we have a lot of stuff going on. We have the teams kind of split. So we have. Um, let me see. We have Ruby, Weiss, Blake, um, Nora, Penny, all going up to Atlas. Um, they were on their way there to get the clearance from Ironwood's terminal. They're going to figure out how to do that. And, uh, I don't know how it's going to play out, but something Nora kind of launched, uh, Weiss up somewhere. I don't know if it was where they were intending to go or they were, um, somewhere else, but, uh, we'll find out. Hopefully that all goes well. I want to know what's going on with the other Schnees, uh, Mama Schnee and Brother Schnee. So we'll uh, we'll see what's going on with them. Uh, the villains kind of kind of in a wild spot, kind of gathering. They look like they have the extreme upper hand, but we'll see what's going on there. Yeah, the split between Neo and Cinder and uh, Emerald and those three are going to have an interesting little little gathering, I should say. Um, Mercury looks like he's joining joining up with like the lieutenants, so becoming becoming one of her key pieces maybe because he's that's his resolve. He's very much that way. Um, the other side is we have Blake. I'm sorry, not Blake. We have Yang, um, Ren. We had Oscar, but not anymore. And uh, Jean. Those four were together, but then the Hound came and kind of jacked some crap up. Uh, just straight up destroyed Oscar's aura. And yeah, like instantly grew into grew into like a beowulf he started talking and then um he grew some wings it, it's it was wild this this hound has got me so so intrigued uh if you haven't heard my theories on it um my number one my quick quick my number one theory is it's adam i don't think the timeline calls for it to be summer just yet. Hello. Hello, camera. Thank you. Okay. Um, so I don't think they call for it just yet. I don't think it um, fits the timeline. Um, maybe a little farther down the line. It could be summer. I don't know. We'll see. Um, let me see. Is that all? Oh, no. And then we have the, the Atlas group. So we have Ironwood with the remaining Ace Ops. Um, we have Watts up there, uh, who I think is going to end up trying to hack Penny. Um, this, there's a bunch of crazy stuff going on up there. I, I don't even know what's going on, but it's, it's exciting, but, uh, let's go ahead and just dive straight on in. All right. Um, I've been, I've been talking long enough. Let's, uh, let's watch volume three. I'm sorry. Volume eight, chapter three. I think this one's called strings. Strings. Okay. I like strings, you know. Um, said goodbye to all the things we love. Gave up our lives just to find that it was not enough. We left in faith. Left our solitude, our carefree peace. What we thought would change the world was just a childish dream. We failed to stop our own demise, the tragic end before our eyes. Hope has no place here. Be the path that leads our way home will finally clear. Maybe the end we tried to avoid is already here. 
Some roses will never bloom. Some trees will rot on the vine. Lives were in much too soon. The evil will never ever die. Some wars will not end in peace. Some here choose the wrong side. Sometimes it's worth it all to risk the fire to fight for it. Alive. There it is. Goodness. Penny getting taken over. There it is. Alright, what you got for me? Ruby? It is Ruby. <laughs> okay, they all got up there. <laughs> Good. Because I never want to do that again. <laughs> hey, fix your hair, girl. All right, Robo Girl. You're up. Which way? Oh. We'll cross the bridge, then go left, straight, right, straight, left, up, up, right, straight, right, right, straight, left, left. And my name is Penny. <laughs> dude, that's so cool, dude. Meh. <laughs> They can't get close to that storm without getting shot right out of the air. It's creepy. All those windows waiting. Worse than if they'd attack. Hey, don't say that. What you look like? I just hope the CEO can get us some answers. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> huh? <laughs> Didn't uh... Was it her? Who hit all the buttons in volume uh volume two? That's funny. Welcome back, Dr. Palandina. Alright. Where to next? Dude, this lady? her ability is really cool, dude. Of course. I can't maneuver us through all that. Do not worry. Ruby is capable of traveling at an extreme velocity from one point to another by breaking herself down to her molecular components, thus negating her mass and then reassembling them at the destination, theoretically making it possible for her to transport all of us in the same way, as mass no longer matters. What? I, uh, what? <laughs> on all of us. Did uh? I just figure that out before you did? Like, she <laughs> did this before I did. <laughs> true, true. Busy. Yeah. Hey. I'd hate for us to have to try motivating. Look at him. Again. Given what we're after, I've got all the motivation I need. Sadly, it doesn't make taking down Pietro's magical science project any less cumbersome. Oh, I trust you can come up with something. Oh, the trust is. <laughs> Speaking of the man, are you aware that dear Dr. Polandina is gallivanting around your military compound? Unless, of course, someone else is using his credentials. A security threat has been detected in the compound. Status alert level three, red. Lockdown initiated. Authorization granted to handle any threat with lethal force. You've got to be joking. The pneumatic tubes have all been closed off. We're trapped. We passed a hangar. I can hijack an airship and get us off this floating rock. Wait. We can still succeed. We are so close. Oh. <gasps> Number one dud. Oh! the sign bill read the sign why don't you ever just pay attention you're in here late all the time your co-workers what? 
another thing I don't want to do. <laughs> Wait, but where's old girl? Where'd she go? Oh, maybe she went to go get the ship? Okay, maybe she went to go get the ship. Dude, that was so cool. That was cool, dude. All right, what we got? What we got? What we got? Oh no! Uh, where is everyone? This is a highly classified area. Oh, <gasps> it's electricity! It's electricity! I don't know what that means, but don't know where I can use it. Hey, Dad. I'm ready. Huh? Oh, this is it. This process is a little complicated, so I'm remoting in the penny from Amity Coliseum. So because they can do this, see, this is how. Okay, so this is how Watts is gonna take over. Okay, this is how Watts is gonna take over. I hope the Wait. others are okay. I think it's been a really ruby fight like this. Don't worry. They're sisters. Sometimes sisters just have very different ideas about what's right. Yeah, they'll be fine. Jean's a great leader. Oscar's grown a ton, and Yang is more than capable of protecting them all in a fight. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it'll be fine. And of course, Ren is... Um... I don't know why he is. Every time I think the two of us are making progress, he... <sighs> We've been together our whole lives, but I feel like I understand him less now than ever. And I don't know if that's his fault or mine. When you've been at some loose side for so long, after a while they become a part of you. But that's just it. They're only a part of you. Don't forget about the rest. True. True. I actually know who I am. <laughs> Without Ren. <laughs> Pretty sad, huh? Well, maybe take this opportunity to find out. Do something only Nora can do. Like what? Oh Be no. Strong and hit stuff. Uh, I just have to. There! Downloading the cloned imprint now. When Penny gets to Amity, we'll run the log sequence. Amity's computer will try to connect to the general's terminal, but get picked Oh, no. And after the launch, I'll return to help you all with the evacuation. <laughs> uh, about that, Penny. When Amity goes up, I think you should be honored with Maria and I. But they need me here. Right? Well, if you stay far out of Salem's reach, then she can't open the vault. She can't get to the relic. So maybe it's as an interesting best. Um we should probably head to the hangar. It's kind of like uh like Naruto. I guess we all have to do some things we would rather not. Hello, kids. Oh <laughs> time to come home now, Penny. So your first time losing to us wasn't enough? Oh, <laughs> We were holding back. We have all said some things we regret, but please hear me out. I know you thought you were doing the right thing when you left with the maiden power, but Salem is here now. Things <laughs> have changed. If General Ironwood plans to leave Mantle behind, nothing has changed. <sighs> I thought you were supposed to protect the people, not hurt them. I would never hurt anyone. Well, Winter's in critical condition. Because of you. And you repaid her by stealing the power that should have been hers. But taking the not... power okay. was the only way to If you stop... keep refusing to do the right thing, people in Atlas and Mantle are going to die. You They're just like twisting it. Penny. Just open the vault, hand over the relic, and you'll save Atlas. But it won't save Atlas. Salem will find her way to the relic no matter where you go. Once Ironwood opens the vault, the relic is as One good as... more word. And I'm throwing you in jail right next to your uncle, Runt. Leave her alone. And what are you gonna do about it, Tin Can? 
Oh, here we go. <laughs> okay, but that's electricity. That's electricity, and I'm pretty sure. Dude, let's go! Let's go. <laughs> oh, dude, this is so hype, bro. Any versus Aesops? You're supposed to be like the best, the best right here. I mean, they lost, but still. Savage. Four versus one? Cowards. But Penny's the winter maiden. I'm sure she can hold her own for a little bit. If this is where Nora comes in, she's gonna be like, ah! <laughs> Dude, this fight is sick, though, dude. She can fly, so that doesn't really do anything for her. It's so OP. It's so OP. Come on, Nora. <laughs> Super sad, Nora. Hurry up, Elm. I can't. Oh, dude, Nora is so cool, dude. <laughs> oh. Made her pass out? Damn it! That was our chance! I need all available squads to converge on- Wait. I have a message for your operatives. Dude, that's cool. The general, we- We understand, sir. What's the... <gasps> oh no! Let's go! Oh no! Needed a piece of the technology. Uh, that was very suspicious. Oh no, it's it's happening. It's happening. <sighs> All ready to she's in bad shape. We need to get her somewhere safe. Oh no, it's happening. This is where Penny's gonna get taken over, bro. I'm so, so sorry. The 
it is time for me to go. Isn't it? We'll see each other again. It won't matter because Watts got what he needed. He gets that piece of uh, penny. And he's gonna be, yeah. Yeah. She's getting hacked. Now, is her leaving the team better or worse? Good work. Good work would have been capturing Penny. Well, you know what they say. If you can't beat them, then make them join you. Yep. Yep. And he's getting hacked. Dude, that fight was really cool. That fight was really cool. Dude, this sounds like... Like old school, like Final Fantasy 8 music. Like when like walking through the schools. That's cool though. Just put, put Ruby in there. Alright, so what do we have? <laughs> we had these two. They were talking about... Yes, they were talking about... Um, just people's powers. Just pretty much just showing us what's going on. I'm sure they'll come into play later. Um, I mean, this this episode was pretty simple. They, this is pretty much them going going forward. You know, getting the authorization and um, calling it a day. So they when they got the they got the authorization from the terminal. They learned about Ruby's <laughs> penny. I figured out Ruby's uh, semblance <laughs> much, much more than, than Ruby did. Um, they got the clearance. Nora's feeling lonely, but they're split. Um, she she dukes it out with the ops. Learns some of her maiden powers. That's incredible. That's really fast. Fantastic fight where she's learning to control not only wind, but ice and some electricity. From the uh, storm, Nora gets a huge upgrade where she has electricity just pulsing through her, but so much that it ends up like hurting her. Kind of crazy. Look at that. That's kind of cute. <laughs> um, this is where her Watts is like, mm, yeah, we're gonna hack her. So, um, they end up getting the piece. And uh, Penny ends up flying off. That was uh, pretty basic, pretty pretty standard. Nothing like really really crazy happened. Um, but it was still pretty fun. I still enjoyed the episode. So it's just Penny's getting hacked, and uh, I think that they're going to. Um, she's going to end up opening the vault, getting the staff of creation, and somehow Ruby's gonna take it and be like mm, real girl. So that's my that's pretty much my whole theory. Didn't get, didn't learn anything about the uh, the, the, um, the Jean group. So we'll see what happens there. You know, but as for now, uh, that's pretty much all. Uh, we don't really have much to talk about on this episode. I mean, pretty pretty basic. Nothing really crazy. So um, I'm a I'm gonna head out. I stream on Twitch, guys. You can give me a follow. I play a lot of, I play a lot of Smite. I play some Apex. Maybe a great few come by and say hi. All right, appreciate uh, talking to you, especially about Ruby. Love Ruby. So, you guys have yourself a wonderful day. See you in the next one, all right? Bye, guys.